Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Oh, you need a copy, Tyson. Yeah. Uh, I, have to go copy. I need a copy. Okay, call the meeting to order. We do have uh, two people absent. Reggie called me and Teresa called me. Uh, Teresa is trying to call in, I think. She said she was going to. Uh, Don, you working on it still? No, we need to call Teresa okay. on the phone. Okay. It is 336-0266. Uh, That's her home phone, 336-0266. She can't connect her, is she trying her? Her iPad's not working, that's why she wanted us to call her. Hey, Teresa, this is George. You want to? You ready? Ready. Okay, I'll leave her on. Okay. Okay, uh, we had the invocation and the pledge. Uh, call the regular council meeting to order. So we've got seven here. Reggie is uh, out of town. Uh, we do have a consent agenda this evening, a treasurer's report, approval of minutes of uh, October 19th, and approved payment of the bills. Uh, do you have the treasurer's report, please? Yes, November 9, 2021, treasurer's report. We have payable checks in amount of $337,805.21. We have 13 major vendor checks, which represent 90% of the payable checks in the amount of $303,146.26. Payroll for October 29, 2021, to include Social Security and Medicare. Taxes $177,454.21. Have two monthly bond payments for $46,575.23. Grand total payroll checks, payroll, no, payable checks, payroll, and bond payments $561,834.65. Okay, thank you. To get a motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion. Todd makes a motion. Walter seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll, please. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Teresa? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael? Yes. And John? Mayor? Yes. Teresa can't vote, can she? Because we can't see her. Oh, yeah. Be able to see That's her. right. That's going to be video. Yeah. Okay. So you can listen to what's we happening. We can do face yeah. time, I guess. Maybe. We can't see her face? No. Not on our home phone. She would have to call on herself. Yeah. Okay. 3.1 is an ordinance authorizing uh, agreement for a monthly payment on account at the St. Robert Transfer Station. This is Dump It, I guess, is the name of the company. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So she breaks it here. This is the bill number and the ordinance number. Okay. Okay, read it as a bill, please. Bill number 21-136, ordinance authorizing agreement for monthly payment on account at the St. Robert Transfer Station Dumpy. Okay, get a motion on the first reading. Michael makes a motion, John seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Aye. Uh, when, we, when, we, uh, when we do this, all they're doing is asking for a credit line. To yes. Be paid monthly. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. This is so that uh, All right. we, Sorry about we officially that. Uh, have them for credit. All right. Yes. Yes. Michael Yes. Teresa. Cam for FaceTime. Okay. Call her on her cell. I did. Oh. Call them on the FaceTime. Okay. Time. I'm gonna hang up, Teresa, and call you on your cell. On okay. FaceTime. I don't know how you do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think how to do FaceTime when yeah, you dial a number. number. 
Yeah, What's it? Hang on. What's your number again? It's 573-433-6437. Center, yeah, it's FaceTime. Well, you can't until, until she answers. Answer oh, yeah, she'll come in. Hello, hello there. Can you hear you? me? Yeah, I think yeah, so. it's not allowing FaceTime though for you, Teresa. She's got a, uh, a yeah. video, yeah, you got to push video. your vi uh, FaceTime on yours, Teresa. And mine's not receiving yours as one. Okay, go ahead. He punched it again. We saw you for a second there. Hang on a minute. Choose another phone number, email. Okay, I'll keep punching it, and you keep punching yours, and maybe they'll lock up. Okay. Okay, Todd's going to try and call you on his and do it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Teresa, do you have an iPhone? No. Oh, that's yeah, why. It won't work. It won't work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the phone on. Okay. Okay, read it a second time, please. Bill number 21-136, ordinance authorizing agreement for a monthly payment on account of the St. Robert Transfer Station for dumping. Okay, get a motion on the second reading. Todd makes a motion, Linda seconds, clarification, discussion, call the roll. Um, Carl? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Todd? Yes. 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 Read as an ordinance, please. Bill number, uh, ordinance number 3775, ordinance authorizing agreement for monthly payment on account of the St. Robert Transfer Station for dumping. Okay, get a motion on the reading of the ordinance. Uh, Charles makes a motion. Michael seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll, please. Charles? Yes. 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 Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael? Yes. John? Yes. Okay, 3.2, an ordinance authorized agreement for monthly payment for another county transfer city, Smith Dash Trash re Removal. Read that as a bill, please. Bill number 21137, ordinance authorizing agreement for a monthly payment on account at the St. Robert Transfer Station, Smith Dash Trash Removal. Get a motion on the first reading. John makes a motion, Walter second. Clarification, discussion, call the rolls. Charles? Yes. Linda? Uh, yes. Todd. Yes. Walter. Yes. Michael. Yes. And John. Yes. Second reading, please. Bill number 21-137, ordinance authorizing agreement for monthly payment of account on account at the St. Robert Transfer Station, Smith Dash Trash Removal. Get a motion on the second reading. Linda makes a motion. Todd seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael. Yes. And John. Yes. Read as an ordinance, please. Ordinance number 3776, ordinance authorizing agreement for monthly payment on account of the St. Robert Transfer Station, Smith Dash Trash Removal. Get a motion on the reading of the ordinance. Michael makes a motion. Second. Todd seconds. Clarification, discussion. Call the roll, please. Yes. Yes. Todd. Yes. 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 Okay. On 3.3, .3, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an aviation project consultant agreement between the city of Waynesville, city of St. Robert, and Burns McDonald. This is just an upgrade uh, to the uh, contract we have with Burns McDonald. Okay, read his bill, please. Bill number 21138, ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an aviation project consultant agreement between the city of Waynesville, the city of St. Robert, and Burns McDonald Engineering Company, Incorporated. Get a motion on the first reading. Motion. Michael makes a motion, Linda seconds, clarification, discussion, call the roll. Carl? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael? Yes. Yes. John? Yes. Second reading, please. Okay, Bill number 21-138, Ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an aviation project consultant agreement between the city of Waynesville, the city of St. Robert, and Burns and McDonald Engineering Company, Incorporated. Get a motion on a second reading. Walter makes a motion. 
Second. second. John seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. 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 Okay, read us an ordinance, please. Uh, ordinance number 3777, ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an aviation project consultant agreement between the city of Waynesville, the city of St. Robert, and Burns McDonald Engineering Company Incorporated. Get a motion on the reading of the ordinance. Todd makes a motion. Michael seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Yes. Todd? Yes. 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 Okay, 3.4, ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute agreement with Cable America to relocate the overhead cable uh, to underground along VFW Memorial Drive. We're removing the two power poles and to remove the fiber optic. I guess that's what it's called, right, Steve? Yes. Yeah, it's like $19,000 uh, for that. Uh, thought it was going to be twenty nine. dollars so uh, it, I guess it says $18,000 or eighteen five hundred two. dollars <laughs> Is it running from, from the cable all the way up to the street? Pardon? Is it running from the cable? It's on the, the two poles. The fiber optic line runs along there, but they have to splice it back. I think it's up by the intersection, isn't it? Yeah, um, there by the Honda dealership, and then they, they don't want any splices in it. They have to go back to their next splice point that's already there. Yeah, because it degrades it if they splice it, and so they've got to run quite a bit. What's so bad about this one is it's their main fiber out. Yeah. So it, I think it goes into like Illinois or something. Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they don't want to have any splices in it. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, read it as a bill, please. Bill number 21-139, ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement with Cable America to relocate overhead cable to underground along view VFW, <laughs> VFW Moral Drive. Okay, get a motion on the first read. Michael makes a motion. Todd seconds. Clarification discussion. Paul roll. Paul. Yes. Linda. Yes. Todd. Yes. Long. Yes. Michael. Yes. yes. Second reading. Bill number 21-139, ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement with Cable America to relocate overhead cable to underground uh, along VFW Moral Drive. Get a motion on the second reading. Motion. Walter makes a motion. Linda seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles. Yes. Linda. Yes. Todd. Yes. Walter. Yes. Michael. Yes. John. Yes. Yes. Read as an ordinance, please. Ordinance number 3778. Ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement with Cable America to relocate overhead cable to underground along VFW Memorial Drive. Get a motion on a reading of the ordinance. Michael makes a motion. Walter seconds. Yes. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles. Yes. Linda. Yes. Todd. Yes. Walter. Yes. 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 Okay, 3.5 is something that Denise has been working on. This is a traffic engineer study for me to uh, sign the contract. It's for ADA uh, engineer evaluations, and then it's supposed to lead up to us getting grants. MoDOT is working on uh, going to work on some of the public areas on Missouri Avenue, on Old Route 66, and down on Z Highway. Uh, we got notification of that, Mayor. And I, know that so that's what this leads up to we it's a grant they'll come in and do the engineering study and then we'll submit for a grant another grant after this okay read his bill please bill number 21140 ordinance approving a contract with cm archer group pc for professional services relating to the city's traffic engineering assistance program grant t pole 56. I think this is an 80 20, isn't it? Anita? Yes. Yeah, 80 20. Okay. <coughs> Get a motion. Todd makes a motion. Michael seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. 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 And who was the second on that? I'm sorry. I was. Michael. Okay. Second reading. Bill number 21140, ordinance approving a contract with CM Archer Group PC for professional services related to the city's traffic engineering assistance program grant, <coughs> CPO 56. 
Second. A motion done. By Linda makes a motion. Walter seconds. Mm -hmm. Clarification, discussion, call a roll. Charles. Yes. Linda. Yes. Hi. Yes. Walter. Yes. Michael. Yes. Yes. Okay, read his ordinance. Ordinance number 3779. Ordinance approving <coughs> a contract with CM Archer Group PC for engineering services related to the city's traffic engineering assistance program grant T Pulp 56. Okay, get a motion on reading of the ordinance. Michael makes a motion. Charles seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter. Yes. Michael? Yes. John. Yes. Yes. Okay. 3.6 is an order authorizing the interim city councilor to execute a joint application to the Public Service Commission uh, for the first addendum to the second territorial. This is for the fleet electric. We had already uh, passed an ordinance for Marinanta and Laclede agreement. However, the agreement that Laclede sent me uh, calls for my signature to the PSC, which is standard. We have to go to Public Service Commission to make the transfer, but we're not, see, we're not, we're not <coughs> PSC regulated. Laclede is PSC regulated. We're transferring from PSC non-regulated, which we would have that right, to PSC regulated with a transfer. And PSC uh, has counsel as the authorizing person, so we're going to have to come back in and authorize me to sign the PSC uh, okay. agreement to present it for approval to PSC. Okay, mm -hmm. read it as Instead well. of the mayor. Okay, I get to do something instead of him. <laughs> 21141. An ordinance authorizing the interim city councilor to execute a joint application to Public Service Commission for an order approving the first addendum to the second territorial agreement between the City of St. Robert and the Cleveland Electric Cooperative for the provision of electrical services to Maranatha Baptist Church. Okay. Good motion on the first reading. Todd nice. makes a motion. John seconds. Clarification, discussion, call roll. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael? Yes. 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 Okay, second reading. Bill number 21141, ordinance authorized the interim city councilor execute a joint application to the Public Service Commission for an order approving the first addendum to the second territorial agreement between the City of St. Robert and Fleet Electric Cooperative for the provision of electrical services to Maranatha Baptist Church. Get a motion on the second reading. Motion. Linda makes a motion, Walter seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll. Charles? Yes. Yes. Todd? Yes. Walter? Yes. Michael? Yes. John? Yes. Okay, reads an ordinance. Ordinance number 3780. Ordinance mm -hmm. authorizing the interim city councilor to execute a joint application to the Public Service Commission <coughs> for an order approving the first addendum to the second territorial agreement between the City of St. Robert and the Cleveland Electrical Cooperative for the provision of electrical services to Maranatha Baptist Church. A motion on the reading of the ordinance. John makes a motion. Michael seconds. Clarification, discussion, call roll. Charles? Yes. Linda? Yes. Todd? Yes. Yes. Michael? Yes. Yes. Okay, the next committee meetings, wage and finance. Edmund, you figure out when you want to have a finance meeting? Probably next week. I would like to have one on November the 16th at 5 o'clock for health insurance. He's got the bids in. He talked to me today. And that's the only day he had available next week. Okay, we'll also do the uh, budget that day. What else do we have? We had two things. What do you got, Teresa? Also, I'd like to add to that, Mayor. Okay. I wanted to add uh, a first look at employees' evaluations. Okay, employee evaluations. HR, are you going to be ready by next Wednesday? with her. Okay. You'll get with her? I will. Okay. Now, what, what meetings are going to be the 16th? The 16th is finance right now. We're still working on that. We got, uh, she wants to look, start looking at evaluations. She wants to look at uh, uh, the budget and uh, we need to make that recommendation to the council. And, and the health insurance. And the health insurance. Ready. 
Yeah, the health insurance will be right. So what time I think there's something you? else. There's That's something. Else. There's something else. We talked about two things, and I've only got one on there. Well, health insurance was the one I took. Yeah. Okay. It's been such a busy day, I forgot. Okay. But there'll probably be four things, Teresa. Okay. 16th at what? 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock. 16th, 5 o'clock. Stan will come down from Springfield. Okay. Okay, public works, Steve? Yeah, we will we'll need one for the... Bids, okay. Who's public works? Reggie? Reggie. Okay. When do you want to have it? Whoever else you want is to on do that it. committee, whatever works best for them. It's going to be a long one with the finance already on Wednesday night. Um, that's Tuesday night. Tuesday, I've got a thing. I can't be there. I don't necessarily need to be there. For Tuesday public night? Works. Yeah. Tuesday night. You don't want to do Tuesday night? No, no, that's fine. Okay. Isn't the 16th Tuesday? 16th is the Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe it's Monday night. I got the thing. So, okay. Yeah, it's the 15th, I know. So, so this 15th is Monday, right? <clears throat> you you tell me you were available next week on Tuesday night whenever I asked you. Yeah, that's the 16th. Yeah, right. I am. Yeah. Okay. What about Wednesday night for Public Works? 5 o'clock. We need to get a hold of Reggie. Hopefully he's going to be back. What do you got on that, Steve? Huh? Short meeting? What do you got? Yeah, it's the bids on the, the back truck. Okay, bids on the back truck. Okay. What time? Five o'clock on Wednesday. So that's the 17th. Okay. Okay, emergency services. You need anything? See Not that I'm aware of. Park committee, I guess they're meeting, they've been meeting. Gene told me in a couple of weeks, so. Okay. We'll get it to the next meeting. Okay, comments by Alderman. Teresa, you want to go first? I don't have anything at the moment, Mayor, thank you. Okay. Charles? Uh, Linda? I don't think I have anything. Okay. Todd? Well, it's that time of year. Start getting prepared for winter. Check your filters and have your heating systems checked out and smoke detectors and all that good stuff. So, yeah, and Pro Care lawns a, put the spreader on your. Yep. Did mine today. Other than that, I just appreciate everything these guys do for us. Okay. Walter? Um, I wanted to ask about something we discussed two months ago, and that was on the purchase of the vehicle. Heavy duty trucks. Mm -hmm. You remember that? And um, heavy duty you, you trucks know, for what? I, I don't think public works. Uh, you, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if we got them or not. You know, when we, we when we voted to have to purchase those trucks down in Oklahoma, where they Oklahoma. I don't remember any trucks yeah, in Oklahoma. Yeah, we voted a couple of weeks ago. We had a special meeting to yep. vote. Oh, for the dump trucks. No, that was the trailers. The no, trailers. it was the no, dump trucks. Was, was, oh, the dump truck? Yeah. It was two different Yeah, the truck's in and it's been hauling dirt already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, yeah, you know, is there a way we can be brought up to date on, on what we decide on? Because... Well, you guys voted what yeah. it was, and then the next day they went down and got it. They did get them. So, yeah. and we didn't have to use the extra funds that we said that we would allow you to have to negotiate if you needed it. No, I think what it was, was if, if I remember correctly, you guys was wanting to buy two, but we decided only to buy one. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump truck, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they bought the most expensive yeah. one, and the other two were less than 100000 um, So, yeah. And the one you guys bought was 168000 so you okay. got you and got a choice. Dirt. So they took the the highest price. And been hauling dirt. Every yep. Yeah, I think I yeah, saw it today or yesterday. Yeah, it's doing a nice it. job. It's Coming out of Ziegenbein or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What okay. else you got, Walter? No, um, that's it. That's it. Okay, Michael. Okay, let me go through. You got this one. Okay. Nothing. John. Okay, we're back to Charles. Okay. Uh, this is a comment that almost slipped my mind. Um, the water district goes in there changing water meters on people's homes, but they don't notify you. And uh, what happens is uh, the tracking that we have here at the city, 
does not uh, compact. It's not compatible. Well, we don't track their water meters. Yeah, but this is the problem. They don't tell the citizen. And so when they change my water <coughs> meter, uh, the, the meter uh, uh, started out at zero again. Mm -hmm. And so when it got here to the city, it doubled my bill. And this is happening to it other wouldn't have got here to the city because we don't charge it. Wait sewer. Okay, the I, sewer I'm not following you. The, the sewer port. So, <coughs> oh, so, okay. Yeah, so when I when I got the bill, it was $90 versus having uh, 30 or $49. Oh, okay. I came up here and Ms. Frederica explained it to me that the water district does not tell the, 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 the mm. customer okay. that they're replacing the meter. Okay. So uh, my recommendation to the council and the mayor is to uh, hold them accountable, the district, mm -hmm. for notifying our citizens that they're changing the water meters out so that they won't be confused here at the city and the customer doesn't come to the city upset because the yeah. uh, water district failed to, to know. You got that, Edna? Correct. I will uh, call and see if we can sometime we're going to notification. Mm -hmm. to us. Okay. Or you could put something in your newsletter just warning them that it could they should could see a mm -hmm. increase. In yeah. If they so could, it's just one of those districts where they we charge for sewer and not water, correct? Right? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, so and we could probably get a list of ones that we've done them. or they've done. They've done. Okay. And then yeah, we could correct our bill. Yeah, we've got an ordinance with them uh, for right. for working with them. Pull that out and make sure that. It's in there. If it isn't, then it probably needs to be adjusted. And I think that's one district number one, right? Yeah. Two. <coughs> that's the one. Oh, public one yeah. district number two. Number two. Okay. Okay, anything else, Charles? That's it. Okay. Okay. So, comments by Alderman are all done. Comments by administration. City Clerk. Deputy, um, Deputy City <laughs> Clerk. Just a reminder of the filing for the um, April 2022 um, election. The first day of filing is December the 7th at 8 o'clock. December the 7th, and it closes December the 28th. December the 28th. So it's only 20 days in December. It doesn't go into January like it used to. It does not leave into January this year. Okay. So, okay. Also, on the finance side, um, the reported taxable sale here today here in the city. Bruno Lipper is $259,064,503. That's the total spent. Yes, correct. Yeah. This is a, an 11.33% increase over 2020. We know um, it was a COVID year. Uh, we still had an increase in 2020. And the amount this equates to is $260,935. Okay. That's just the general sales tax. Um, the November collection was up by 15.25%, which was 29867 dollars um, I did an analysis on the combined um, sales tax collection to include the general, the street, capital improvement, and the park. We have received 110% um, of what was budgeted. Okay. We're yeah. over. Yeah. Um, and and we still got one more month to go. One more month, All right? So um, we're estimated to get maybe with those three combined nine hundred thousand. Yeah. That's great. Mm. What's up? And uh, you get nine hundred thousand. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll wait uh, to see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the use tax. Um, so far, we collected two hundred eighty-one thousand three hundred ninety-three thousand dollars. Um, the average monthly collection is about twenty-five thousand per month. Um, our budget, um, I think for this year, was three hundred thousand, so we're doing we're on track with that. Yeah. Okay. 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 And the balance in the operating account after <coughs> deduction of tonight's payable checks, payroll, and bond payments is two point two million. Okay. okay. Two point two, so we're back over two million in the checking account. Okay. Uh, police and fire are not here. Public Works, Steve. You've been busy. Do things. <clears throat> um, 
Larry down at the treatment plant had been doing some repairs to the clarifiers down there. There it is in pretty bad shape, so I sent, sent uh, Scott Liebig down there to help him. Um, the skirts down there inside the clarifiers are made out of aluminum, and you know, of course, they've been flooded multiple times, so we're starting to see pretty bad pits in it. So they are just about to the end of their life cycle, so thank goodness we'll be having something new to move into for too long. Um, we've been working on uh, the overhead electric uh, over by Subway, switching it to underground, so I think we have most of the pipes in um, now, almost all the way, so we're just kind of waiting on uh, phone and everything else. And then we'll yeah, where's the phone at? We got a bid on them yet to move their fiber? No, or we do not, and he's... Jeff has not, he has not got back with Jeff at this time, and we don't even know if they'll, sometimes they don't even uh, charge us, they just, they bring the line, we supply the pipe in the ground, and they'll, they'll rerun it. Yeah. So we'll see, see how that goes. Uh, the street department, of course, have been uh, doing the dirt hauling, some uh, final mowing, and uh, some street patching caught up on that um, and then on the Sunday the 24th we did have a power outage um, some of our wells went down but it was it was not storm related I guess you could say about the same time that happened our SCADA um, was interrupted and uh, I guess we're Don's working on uh, replacing a switch for us over there that um, where it talks back and forth, so once he gets that done, we'll be we'll be back in good shape on that. You know what caused the outage? No, 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 we do not. They they drove lines that night and couldn't couldn't really find anything. So uh, we brought it back up with no issues, and the next day drove the lines out, still couldn't find anything. Okay, so. Um, the street department's been doing some uh, uh, dirt work behind on the bank behind um, the Superior Road building. Uh, that was, it's a pretty steep drop off and we're getting ready to fence that lot in there. So we're trying to, I guess, stabilize it a little bit more before they put the fence in. So hopefully they, um, or we have it uh, straightened out. Uh, we also, over the, uh, this last weekend, we had a, um, a gas main leak in Kell Court. And so we, um, they found it. Um, it was it right cheaper. close to the other one? No, it was down, down the street a little bit, but the same issue. The gas was really strong and spewing out of, from around one of the transformers, electric transformers. So. Not, not a good spot for yeah. it, but uh, it's finding its least path of resistance, which that's following the same ditch line and it come up through there. Uh, but that was repaired. Um, didn't take too awful long, so they got it repaired and back up and, and going good. Um, we had a water main break in uh, Boza on uh, Tuesday the 2nd. Um, that wasn't too bad either. It was, you know, of course, disrupt service and, and uh, but they was able to get that repaired uh, fairly quickly. Uh, we started installing the underground electric in the Ridge Creek area from the, all the way down in the bottom of the hill. We're heading up the hill now to uh, supply power to the storm siren. So I think that will be another week or two. I don't, I'm, I don't know when they'll have that storm siren in. But. As they're going up, we're, we're placing street lights in that area too. So the, <laughs> the hill is uh, was normally pretty dark, so it's uh, helped it out tremendously. Yeah, tell them about the bore up there at the top. Yeah, yeah. At, at the top of the hill, when we we've made it to this point now, and it's about a 120 foot run diagonally across or across somebody's driveway and then diagonally across the the underneath the blacktop road 
So, you know, that's one way in, one way out. We'd have uh, traffic shut down and, you know, we'd have to really watch what we're doing. So we contacted a company, a local company that does boring and everything, and they was going to uh, do that bore for us. They'll bore through and pull three three-inch lines back for us for $4,000. So the price of the asphalt and the gravel and the labor and the, and all that to put it back, Time. we're, yeah, we're probably money ahead just to have them do it. And then, so I think he's supposed to be here fairly quickly and get that done. Um, we had a... Um, Water main break today out on Y Highway, uh, just um, this side of Liberty Drive, the, the little raster building that's out there. Yeah, so that was um, repaired uh, fairly quickly and, and everything brought back up to speed. And uh, the final thing was the contractor started on the sidewalk here on East Lawn yeah. today. So, so they. Uh, Looked like they got about half of it done. Um, they said they'd probably take them a couple weeks to get everything done. They've got all the driveways to go through and, and re-pour those, so they'll pour, come back and they'll pour those last, I'm sure. They they'll have to do job. half and half, so that's what's going to take some time. But that's all I have. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Any questions, Steve? Question, uh, uh, the, uh, the park over there behind the uh, of section, uh, how do they come along? The what is it? The, the recreational park behind Cell Section. It seems it's it's going pretty good. Um, I think they're in their final stages now, doing final grading on it. So yeah. Yeah, we asked them for a bid to put in the uh, utilities, mm -hmm. yeah. just to see what they'd cost. Because yeah, I haven't got that back from them yet, and we've only just. We ordered all our material to go into that site, and we just barely received any back. It's just a hard time getting material right now, so we've just just now started to see some material come back to us, and that's been months that we've ordered that stuff. So, so hopefully we get it for too long. Yeah, but uh, if they install it with our material, we think it'll be a pretty good cost because they yeah, can't. and what'll help there is they're they're responsible for the pad sites. So if they go in and do all the pad sites now, and then we go in and do the utilities, and we're going to tear up every bit of the pad site work that they've done, and then then you're going to have just a messed up pad site. So if they get to do the utilities, we buy the material and they put it in, then they can do that as the as they're pulling great right on the pad sites and going right on through. It'll look like, a, it'll be a lot better finished product for you. So, we'll see how that goes. Any other questions? If not, let's move on. Thank you, Steve. Uh, IT, Don? Just a couple of things. Uh, I spent all day yesterday moving our court clerks from the front of the building back into the courtroom. Uh, that was a choice. Yeah, it's two different ones, totally different. Oh. Um, was tested three times. Also, I'm in the process of canceling some of our internet that we have in the building. Uh, CenturyLink, who we've had for about three years now, I'm in the process of canceling them because we have free high-speed internet from Splash in here. That'll save us about $9,300 a year. I also canceled the Cable America that we had at our trans our the pool facility because we had free internet there. I'm going to be in the process after the Thanksgiving break put splash over at our community center and we'll save money there I don't know it's about $36 a month for internet at each of these locations and then I'm gonna to talk to them about switching out our internet at Superior Road at our water tower because Cable America at the water tower is down more than it's up so half the time I can't even view the cameras out there on Superior Road <laughs> Some other things I've been working on is for the police department and fire department to do a complete tablet refresh for new, next year because all the tablets we have 
if they break down, they can't be fixed because they're all EOL, which is end of life. They don't have parts to fix them. So we're going to be doing a tablet refresh next year. And also, I've been working on the mapping program for the police department because the stuff that we're getting from Comp Center to Spillman, every time they do an update, we have to go to every computer and fix it. And Chief is also not pleased with the bill that he got the other day. Mm. And that's about it. Okay. Hey, hey, Don, how does a person get a hold of Splash Internet? I've never heard, I mean, I've heard us talk about it here, but I've never heard anybody in the community talk about having Splash Internet. Are they available to yes. everybody now? Mm -hmm. Yes. They are available in St. Robert. Okay. Okay. Ricky Zegenbach. A couple of things. Um, the week of the 25th, Stella, um, trucking that hauls our um, trailers to Black Oak, they started washing all the trailers and they're finally done. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's went by there and seen all the Fantastic. shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, they're all done. Um, November 10th, tomorrow, the uh, overhead door down there by the uh, recycling area is getting replaced finally. Since, it's been since July. And uh, the tonnage report for uh, October was uh, 4,257.3 tons, averaging uh, 202.73. Wow, you guys went busy. A little bit. A little so, okay. That's all I got. Okay. I get that. Is that splash internet? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Stephanie Keys, Park Superintendent. Oh, sorry. Yes. I can tell you at the pool that they are in a class this week uh, on playground safety, getting their certification. Also, uh, we had pool work done last year, and we needed repairs done, warranty work, and they came today and started on the warranty work at the pool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're, um, who's up there, Mark and Stephanie, and somebody else called in late and didn't go. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bathrooms up at the park got a refresh due to uh, some vandalism we had up there. Yeah, okay. Did you have something, Erica? Um, I did. Next week, um, all of our CDL license holders will be getting their mandatory training. Knock out. Um, Como's going to come down and knock out. And they are also going to conduct a reasonable suspicion class for our supervisors, which will train them to be able to recognize reasonable suspicions at work. Hopefully, that will roll over and cut down on our TOMO cost, because right now we're signed up with a package with them. We'll be um, drug tested at 10% each quarter. Um, that is not a mandatory requirement. The only requirement we have is the CDL license holders. So hopefully we get our supervisors trained to recognize um, suspicious behaviors at work and we can cut back on the 10% testing that we do each quarter. Okay. What day are they coming down? Um, they'll be here on Tuesday. Yeah, they run trash on Tuesday, so Wednesday they don't do any trash. I coordinated with them. They told me Tuesday would be okay. Right? I thought Wednesday was the 16th. Okay, you guys want that out. I actually have, um, I have something for that. Don't worry, I got you okay. covered. Okay. <laughs> we'll do the virtual yeah. on the 17th for okay. those that miss it. So I got you. Okay, Tice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, just to keep you abreast, I got a couple things in clothes that we're going to have closed. Uh, the uh, executive order 14042. And the OSHA administrative thing on COVID uh, and uh, forcing maps, masks, and uh, actually maps of certain 
areas of sensitivity and uh, getting vaccinated uh, are very much a moving target right now because of all the lawsuits that are being filed. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do is make sure that we weren't the latest I got, though, is they moved it to January 4th. Well, they, they continued. Now, see, OSHA's administrative order is in play now. Mm -hmm. But I first thing I did is check today. We're not under OSHA because we're under 100 employees, and Missouri has not adopted OSHA. So the OSHA thing and that mess, we don't have to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, But I was told Biden, the White House, moved the... Uh, mandatory date to January 4th. Well, they moved the mandatory dates on the federal contracting, okay. which is procedurally very difficult to deal with. Um, it's gone from December 8th to January. Mm -hmm. um, the issue out there, but the problem is that order says you're fully vaccinated, so that's the first yeah. time. So we're in multiple yeah if you're getting two shots you got to have the second shot like three weeks to be fully vaccinated on the fourth yeah but we don't have any federal contracts that are in play at this point uh our service contract with the fort leonard wood with our transfer station it, we don't have to qualify there because we're outdoors we're exempt one or 250 uh, and we're a general contractor, and we're, we're not on the federal reservation, so I think we're fine there. Um, there are a couple of other contracts that we may have to deal with at some point as a city. Uh, the mayor has got some dirt stuff he's got going on and some stuff that we might, might have to co comply at some point, but I'm keeping track on it because it's a moving target. It changes every damn day. So uh, we don't want to get caught in any of those traps, so I'll keep on the top of it. Okay. Nothing else for open? The what? Anything else for open? Mm -hmm. Anita? I just have a few things. Uh, I know at least three of you have called on uh, asking about the Veterans Day agenda, and Cecilia sent me one today. I got Pastor Quinn to do the invocation for us. Um, Mayor's going to throw candy, and Dr. Sider's going to do the, the speech, St. Robert huh? speech for us. So, okay. um, Plus the blessing, don't you? Mm -hmm. You're going to give the uh, no. blessing Pastor, up there? Pastor Quinn is. Oh, okay. Pastor Quinn's doing him location. Oh, okay. He said he'd be happy to. Okay. So we got um, Steve and his men, and um, Roger will be doing set up for the uh, parade. So we've got that covered. Like I said, we talked to I talked to Stan Robinson today. Our current health insurance carrier came in at 17% over what we're paying now, and then we had uh, two others uh, come in at 10%. Anthem and Sigma. He was hoping to have some different numbers by the time we meet. Also, MetLife Dental and Vision, which is something the employee pays for, came in 10% under what they're paying now. So good. that looked good for the employees. So we'll see what happens when we meet. Uh, they came out with new LMI numbers. That's low to moderate income. If you have anything to do with grants, you know, a lot of them you have to meet uh, LMI numbers. Ours, the new number is 31.54. And that means we still won't qualify for those LMI grants. So um, we don't typically go after those anyway because mm -hmm. we can't get them. Our numbers are too high. Um, I wanted to let you all know that uh, all the talk that's going around and the Zoom meetings we've had, the winter utility bills this year are looking at they're going to be higher. Um, Demand is higher than what production is on natural gas and on electric, plus the new regulations they have on, um, you know, meeting the, uh, well, what is that, Mayor? Um, carbon uh, mm -hmm. stuff is out, and it's, they're hot. We can't meet them right now. Um, so, yeah, so there's a 30 to 40% increase for the winter cost of fuel 
natural gas, electric, all that. Yes, and so uh, I have a um, put together a letter for the mayor to go over and sign to send out to the citizens. We also did a uh, 2021 winter energy efficiency tips. Maybe the citizens can do that. We included in it uh, two programs that they can apply for for people who are struggling that might struggle with their winter bills. Um, and it has all the information in it. So we'll either send that out with the next utility bill or I don't know. I haven't got to talk to the mayor to see if he'd want to do a separate mailing on it. Yeah, and I was listening to the radio uh, coming back, coming back and going to Springfield today. And there's a in the 1.2 trillion that passed the house, there's a 30% tax on national natural gas, mm -hmm. which you probably spent over to propane too. 30%, so 30 cents on every They dollar. actually did a what can we do different than what happened last year, which was a disaster. So. Uh, part of it will be that me and the mayor will be on a call list if we get into a peak demand problem again. And we'll be able to post on Facebook and on the radio station as soon as we're called. Just people need to take it seriously when the mayor says cut back on your uh, heat. I mean, I know it's hard on people, but it can make a big difference in the price that you pay this winter. When he says cut back, you need to cut back. Yeah, it looks like another February, March uh, cold spell that we had last time is going to be the normal for the price this year. So we probably could go into peak demand uh, depending on uh, usage. So Prepare now. Yeah, we thought it would be years before we ever got back up that high. But, uh, so we put together a pack and a little. San Francisco is eight dollars and forty nine cents a gallon. Yes. I believe. <coughs> so. Get it out to the citizens. Yeah. So. Well, they're going to cut uh, down another pipeline. Yeah, Michigan. Yeah. So we do. The airport. Um, we had a meeting on Friday, and they're working on doing the um, Christmas numbers. Uh, trying to get them booked now. We have uh, 71 Marines booked for December the 17th on outbound. And we have on the 20th, 71 soldiers booked on one plane and 39 are on another plane and they're still taking um, reservations now. So that's looking good. Our October employments were at 480 uh, and all passengers were 948. So. That's with the new jet service that just started. So they were happy with that. And we're still uh, working on getting the... Uh, and the flights from Columbus, or Columbia, to Chicago now are canceled. They pulled out of Columbia. They weren't there on an EAS contract. So we'll have them for two years for sure, but uh, they did pull out of 17 cities nationwide. I know somebody was flying this uh, for Christmas this year, and they're, they're flying on. I'm flying my daughter over the Thanksgiving holiday, and it was cheaper to fly her into Fort Leonard Wood than it was Springfield or St. Louis. Mm -hmm. They're That's just good. not happy about flying to Chicago. They like going to St. Louis because it's easier to find a way from St. Louis home mm -hmm. than it is from Chicago back here. Like, you know, yeah. if you don't have a car in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We had a uh, Code USA meeting last week. Uh, the company is healthy, and they're working through, like Ty's talked about, the COVID regulations, since we do have that contract on Fort Leonard Wood and work on there. Uh, Dr. Slider, you mentioned the comprehensive plan. When we were at Medford, John B., uh, with PGAB planners uh, asked me if we ever needed something to let him know so I talked to him a little bit about the comprehensive plan and today he sent me um, two plans in the mail from other communities and said he'd come down and talk to us when we're ready. He sent us Sedalia and Darbeen Prairie, or two that they had just done. They also did O'Fallon, but he said it had 100,000 population, so that wouldn't work for us. But I haven't had the opportunity to go through them yet, but I do have that to look at. 
The Growth Alliance is meeting on the 17th. I've lined up Travis Shelton with the Missouri Small Business Center to speak to the group. Um, Missouri Small Business Center helps um, people do expansion projects, or we're working with them on a trailer company, but they could also help small communities. So I felt that would be a good speaker for the Growth Alliance. Currently, the Central District at DED doesn't have a um, representative for us, so we're struggling with that a bit. Um, hopefully, they'll get us somebody soon. We haven't had anybody for three months. So we're working on that. Mike Shimford asked me to give the fire report. He said that um, he'll have two of the trucks in the uh, parade, and they're still waiting on parts on one of the engines. Mike had microscopic surgery on his knee, so um, he's been out of it a little bit. Yeah, last Friday. Um, okay. As far as that goes, uh, Medpa was last week. Was it last week, Edna? Week before. Um, Edna and I went and we got to meet the Cardinals owner and have our picture taken with them. We was we were excited about that. Mm -hmm. He was the guest speaker and he spoke first. And then the group I was in, which was three speakers and Sally Hemingway, um, uh, we were next on the agenda and it was really well. I had a lot of questions at the end. Uh, I had the speech down to 12 minutes and it ended up taking 30 minutes by the time we got through. So. I thought that went over well. We were, I was asked to talk about three challenges and how we overcame them. I talked about the water infrastructure challenge we had when Fort Leonard Wood was flooded and the water and how we did the CDBG grant um, to connect Wingsville and Fort, or St. Robert and Fort Leonard Wood and it came at the same time our new water tower was on and how we got funding through CDBG to help us with that portion of the connection. So the other thing we talked about was regional transportation challenges. Sally asked me to talk about the airport on Fort Leonard Wood. So I talked about how we started out as a small nine passenger commercial flight between Fort Leonard Wood and St. Robert and how we had St. Louis. St. Louis and how we had the uh, one plane with nine passengers and the plane right behind it that carried the luggage. So everybody got tickled about that. And then we upgraded to uh, 30 passenger on February 2018. And then October 12, 2021, we went to the 50 passenger commercial jet. Um, and so we're no longer lost in the woods. We were <laughs> found. So uh, a lot of the, several of the people that were there trained at Fort Leonard Wood. So we had a lot of interaction uh, on that one. And then we t I talked about the 2014 personnel reduction challenges whenever they talked about that. And we had the meeting on Fort Leonard Wood and um, how the House and Senate closed early and came down on buses and the two Quonset huts are those two big buildings we built. And I actually had pictures on that. So it was really well received and um, I enjoyed doing it. So that's okay. all I've got, Mayor. Okay. Uh, don't have any comments right now. The next regular Board of Aldermen meeting will be November 23rd at 5 o'clock. Uh, we do have a closed session tonight. The meeting is being closed pursuant to Missouri Law Chapter 610-021 to include Section 1 Legal, Section 2 Real Estate, Section 3 Personnel. Get a motion. Motion. Uh, Michael makes a motion, Linda seconds. Clarification, discussion, call the roll, please. Yes. 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 Yes.